If I ever get hired from Netflix, I'm pitching in a Chris Pratt starring Rosa Parks movie or maybe a, a Ryan Gosling, Martin Luther King movie, you know, something like that. I think Netflix would really like what I have to give them. Now, Netflix is being sued by an entire country, and that is the country of Egypt. Now, they released this one show uh, for Cleopatra. Now, I'm going to clarify a couple of things. I'm not very well known with Cleopatra. I don't really know much about her. Obviously, I've heard her name. I know a little bit. Don't really know much about Cleopatra and my overall thought, and I haven't seen the show, obviously, I have not seen it, but my overall thoughts when it comes to race swaps is I don't tend to care as long as it's not a core, a central part of a character, like a character like Batman. I think Bruce Wayne should always be white or T'Challa. I think T'Challa should always be black. And the major thing that I always believe is if this is a historically accurate show or movie you're doing, then you can't race swap. You know, if you're talking about a George Washington film, he has to be white. Abraham Lincoln, he has to be white. You know, Malcolm X movie, he has to be black. You know, at the end of the day, if you're doing something historically accurate, I do think that you need to keep the race because the thing is, people, when they watch this show or movie, a lot of people, this is going to be their first really new thing that the, the first thing that they learn about this person who existed in our life. I mean, look at what happened with the Jeffrey Dahmer show. A lot of people watched the Jeffrey Dahmer show, and that was the first time they really even knew about Jeffrey Dahmer, especially when it comes to a history that's existed for years and decades and generations. And I feel like there's new generations constantly learning new information. And with a show like Cleopatra, this is probably a lot of people's introduction to it. But apparently in the show, they had decided to race swap Cleopatra, and they had made her black. Now, from the little bit of research that I did, Cleopatra was not black. Now, yes, she was in Egypt, and in Egypt there, there there were black people, but she wasn't born in Egypt, or she her family wasn't Egyptian. They were Greek, and so she was very white skin. She had dark hair, and that's from what I saw. And I do think that it's important to keep history the way it is. But from what I'm reading, here it says, according to the Egypt Independent, Netflix is officially being sued by Egypt represented by public prosecutor Mohammed al-Samari for casting a black actress in the role of Queen Cleopatra in their documentary Queen Cleopatra instead of an actress of historically accurate ethnicity. The Egyptian lawyer has demanded that serious legal actions be taken against those responsible for the making of that documentary along with those or the overall discontinuity of Netflix streaming service in Egypt as a consequence. The case states that the documentary promotes Afrocentrism, which aims at disordering and obliterating Egyptian identity. The, the documentary is produced by Will Smith's wife, Jada Pickett Smith. That part I didn't even know about it until when I read it. And that, that's kind of funny because, you know, everyone knows the whole Will Smith, Jada, Jada Smith, the whole BS is, you know, I don't even have to go into it. Y'all already know what I'm referring to, but Again, like I said earlier, when you're doing something historically accurate, you need to keep the genuine historic accurateness of what you're producing. I think it's very disingenuous, and I do think there's a little bit of an issue now. Now, I know people are always going to comment on the whole woke conversation. I hate that word because that word now means very little. Same thing with the word racism. That word now means very little because people have overused it or not just overused it, but used it in the way that it was never meant to be used. But when it comes to this specific documentary, I kind of say I kind of agree with a lot of the people that call everything woke. You know, this right here is really shitty. And we talk about this a lot. You're seeing nowadays, or not nowadays, but this has been happening for years now, especially in 2020, where when you're on social media, white, at least in social media, and, I, and I'm going to say this very genuinely, white people are held to a higher standard than every other race. It's almost like people want to be so not racist that they almost became racist in a way where it's like, they're taught that white people are evil, that white people are bad, that now all the blame goes to white people and that only white people are evil. But that in and of itself is racism. You're prejudiced. You're treating someone lesser based on their race. I don't care if they're black, Asian, Hispanic, white. I think it's really shitty that the way that we've kind of changed the narrative is let's change everything up. Because for some reason, white people are the problem when that's not how we should look at it. What we need to start doing is we need to stop believing stereotypes more. We need to realize that the past is the past and the present is the present. And the only way that we can move forward is by looking to the future and realizing that race shouldn't even be a topic. Yes, there's different cultures. Yes, there's different ethnicities. And then we should all accept all of them. But at the end of the day, 
We can't do that if we keep bashing one side. And I think this is another example of that. You're trying to change history on something that is genuinely something accurate. And this is what a lot of people are going to, you know, go into. This is what, you know, there's some people now, this newer generation, who have never learned learned anything about Cleopatra that are going to watch the show. And they're going to think this is what she looked like when really that's not what you should be doing. What you should be doing is promoting the genuine historical facts, whether people like those facts or not. You know, if you're doing a Hitler documentary, you got to show he's evil. You have to show that he is. Otherwise, you're not doing because that's what, what history has always been about. The reason why we have history class in school so that we can learn from our history and so that we can improve from them and not make those same mistakes. It's why it's in America, you're taught a lot about slavery. You're taught a lot about the Holocaust because those things, those things were so bad that we have to teach them. So that way we don't keep making those mistakes. And if you're not going accurate with the information, then you're just going to have generations of people who are ignorant, who don't know the truth. And that's unfortunate, and we can't be doing that. Now, I do think some a lot of people, and, and the thing is, when it comes to this topic, I don't care if it's a fictional character. I genuinely don't. You want to make Superman black? Cool. Be my guest. I don't care. I love Superman, but I genuinely don't care. But when it comes to a genuine character, that's when it becomes a major, major, major issue. Because that is now, you're almost manipulating people into believing a certain thing when it's never really been that way me personally i haven't watched the show maybe the show is good but you know i do think it's kind of bs to just make this major shift and then assume that no one's gonna get frustrated especially egyptians you know especially people who were affected by by you know cleopatra or affected by egyptian history and all that i i think that it's so much more negative towards them you know in a way and we also have to remember not africans aren't all just black you have to remember that. It's the same thing with Hispanics. Hispanics aren't just all brown-skinned, sombrero-wearing, goofy mustache, poncho-wearing Hispanics. No, we all look different. We all look unique. Same thing applies in Africa. In South Africa, you're going to see some pale, white-skinned Africans. In Egypt, so, uh, a lot of Africans over there tend to look a lot more Middle Eastern. And then, you know, it's all unique and it's all different. And we have to keep remembering that. I guarantee you around the world, you can go anywhere and people don't just look all the same. And I think that's kind of also very stereotypical, which is what I talked about a lot in my last video. But anyways, that's all I have to say. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. Y'all let me know in the comments what you think about this. Overall, I really don't care. But because this is something that is history, I think that's, you know, it's kind of shitty to just do the, the things that they, you know, just race swap something that is historically accurate. You know what I mean? But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Ciao. Yeah, we broke and we know it, we don't act like All these other rappers acting like they got racks Borrow cars, but we whipping in my mom's truck 99 full, but act like it's a double R Yeah, we broke and we know it, we don't act like All these other rappers acting like they got racks Borrow cars, but we whipping in my mom's truck 99 full, but act like it's a double R